Hello and welcome to Beach Food Recordings. I'm Brian and Conan is our cameraman today and we're going to show you a few bits and pieces around the studio and I'll show you some equipment and that basically let you know how we record various instruments and stuff like that. Um, so where do we start? So we'll uh, start with our software. The DAW we use is Cubase 11. We just installed that a few months ago, it's great. We're running that on PC and our interface is a Tascam uh, which allows us to record 14 channels at one time, which is really handy. Uh, we'll just kind of maybe work our way around the studio, uh, right to left kind of. So this is our desk, that's a Marilyn Heath GL2200, uh, 24 channels, but we're only using maybe 8 or 10 at the very most. You know? So at the minute, going through this, we have our kick two, snare two, bass, and a couple of overhead mics for the drums, which are on next door, and I'll show you those shortly. Uh, they go on here, and then over here. <laughs> it's all very complicated, and lots of wires involved. But uh, drums, we'll start off with first. So we've got the kick one, which is inside the, the bass drum. So that's going into this Pro MPA2, out of that into the Clark Technic uh, Poltec clone. It's coming out of that then into the Joe Meek C2 compressor. And uh, then out of that into the Alesis Microverb 4, which is just for a bit of room sound, a bit of what on the kick. Out of that into the Tascam and the Cubase. Very simple. Uh, our overheads are coming through these, the DBX286S. These things are fantastic, they're channel strips. Always wanted one of these, so about four. <laughs> so, uh, so we've got our overhead, overhead. Our rack tom and our floor tom are also going through these. What they are, they're a mic preamp. They have a compressor, a de-esser, a sonic enhancer, and an expander gate, which we have basically down all the time on the overheads and just on a bit on the toms because the room is kind of small. So we have to work it like that and just your output. Uh, moving from up here, we have a uh, focus right ISO 1. This is our vocal chain. So uh, microphone basically goes on here, out of here under this compressor, vocal compressor, 76 KT. Comes out of that into an oldie bit of goldie then, the microverb 3, just for a bit of uh, reverb. And that comes out of that and the Cubase. Uh, above the Oasis we have the TP2 by ART as well, which is for acoustics. It's a twin preamp compressor and the presets are great. It's just been kind of set on vocal since the day I bought it, but <laughs> I basically haven't touched it. So we have two acoustic guitars going on here, and then we'll use like a room mic for the acoustic as well, going through the ISA. Uh, studio projects, uh, mic preamp and DI. We use this for bass guitar sometimes, because there's a nice tube blend on it. So you can get a real dirty kind of stranglers type bass sound if you're looking for that. Uh, another couple of preamps in the rain, which are for the room mics for the, the kit and next door room, we set those up. Uh, come from America, it's great. Uh, it's basically compressor and EQ. That's a stereo preamp. Uh, this is a Yamaha DTX2 uh, module, drum module, with a couple of triggers. We don't use them a lot, but they're there if we need them. And those are for a kick and the snare. Uh, over here, I've showed you most of this stuff. Um, we have our, our main snare I make this 57 going through uh, this, which actually this, which is a, that's a focus right vocal channel strip, which I find is great for everything except vocals. So I tried to snare through it one day as an experiment and it worked really well. So we have our snare going through this, uh, pre up through that and then come through that and under the desk then for a bit more EQ and then on the Q base. Um, just a few kind of bits and pieces. Uh, another couple of channels of input if we need it with this audio interface. Uh, monocom passive monitor controller. 
uh, it's just a spare monitor controller and down here a few more kind of channel strips, compressors, lexicon, reverb, sometimes we'll just swap out uh, channel strips and reverbs and stuff like that but basically they're just gathering dust there at the minute. Uh, here we have the uh, XR which is uh, basically an audio interface that you use over the ethernet and what we'll use that for is recording piano and the, and the, the house so we can send the signal out here uh, but it's super complicated and far too complicated for the likes of me so <laughs> it, it doesn't get used a lot uh, we basically find it handier to run two very long microphones under the piano room and work it from there with a set of wireless headphones for whoever's playing the piano uh, tiny tiny orange combo <laughs> uh, we do that as if somebody wants feedback we turn that on full so when they're playing guitar here through these amps they can swing the, the guitar around place the pickups on here and they'll get that uh, feedback that a lot of the rock and roll kids love these days uh, amplifiers this thing is brilliant this is a uh, box it's a 15 watt amp and it's super clean really really clean so when you switch it on you can, you can hardly even tell that it's on you can't hear it at all it's, it's great uh, really clean sound or there's nice uh, up the top there's nice gain on it as well you know, it's probably the treble and it's nice that you can line out so at three o'clock in the morning I can be doing the guitar out here line straight under the, the desk or whatever and work my headphones on uh, so that's the box it's nice uh, Princeton 112 Fender great amp great tremolo or great sorry reverb on this it's brilliant it's uh, a 12 inch speaker uh, Princeton it's a Fender you can't go wrong tucked away on here if you can get on there going on it though it's uh, Trace Elliott uh, that's our one of our bass amps anyway that we'll use uh, that's from series 6 I think it is uh, an ICE key on it um, you, again you can line out that as well so you can work with the headphones on it or I just find putting a, a kick drum mic in front of it uh, now the XD6 works really well for that some guitar pedals right, these set up at the minute I have to apologise for the mess on here because we're working on a couple of different things at the minute so I want to keep things set up for the people coming in so that's uh, just tremolos reverbs, overdrives, uh, distortions. Boss GT3 guitar effects processor underneath that as well. Uh, I'm not using that kind of the box. Uh, move on over. Uh, 70s uh, Watkins copycat. Uh, it's a bit tatty looking but that's, that's a classic. I'm sure a lot of people know what they are. And uh, comes with a free flute. It sits up there. <laughs> Uh, more guitar amps, Orange CR120, that's a beast of a thing, that is super, super loud, uh, but it, if you want to use a clean channel, it is, it's nice and bright as well, and we run that, come out uh, under the Bugera 4x12, uh, cabinet at the bottom, so when we use that, we put that into the drum room, because it's, it's crazy loud. Uh, so we put that on there just to be kind to the neighbours. <laughs> Underneath this, if any anybody watching this has been in a show band in the 60s or 70s, probably on in the early 80s, you'll know what this is. JSH, I think every band in Ireland had <laughs> one of these at one stage. It, it sounds horrible, but in a nice way. Uh, there's two inputs that sound exactly the same. <laughs> uh, there's supposed to be a bright, nor bright input and a normal input. Uh, but there's absolutely no difference but the, the tremolo on it is fantastic so we can use it almost as an effects pedal more than, than, a, than an amp combo underneath that uh, another Fender Stage 100 uh, that's great because there's some fantastic bulb and effects in that again the tremolo and the reverb on that is, is a poor man's uh, jazz chorus basically but it's that's a nice amp, it really is. Uh, another couple of amps were here. We've another Warwick bass amp, uh, which is great, uh, but brighter than the than the Trace Elliott bass amp. And then we've got a wee custom 
uh, five watt. It's like a practice amp, but it's, it's a nice dirty kind of sound. If you want that kind of high gain, punky kind of sound. Uh, beside that, a couple of a couple of more monitors, Martin Short. We'll use them when we're we're mixing down uh, from the from the bigger speakers that I'll show you in a second. Uh, over here, the corner of many things. Uh, more guitar pedals, microphones from Lewitt and SE Electronic and oh, some other bits and mics and things on there. Uh, but messy, but we kind of know where everything is. A couple of small diaphragm condensers, uh, AKG. Uh, nice on uh, acoustic guitars. Uh, what else? Some of the CDs. We've recorded for the lovely people that join us here in Beachwood. Underneath, a couple of old toy drum machines, you can call them, but you never know. They're always there if anybody needs them. And more mics tucked on the way in the corner. And water. Bongos. Everybody needs bongos. Uh, more cymbals. We've got, uh, what have we got on here? We've got, um, these are all Zildjian A Customs uh, for the drums, obviously. Um, keep them on here if anybody wants something a bit heavier. Guitars, uh, just not the string in this this morning, as you can see. This is Jim's beautiful Spanish guitar. Uh, just sounds gorgeous, beautiful. This is Jim's as well. This is, uh, I think it's 70s or 80s. 12 string Yamaha. It's gorgeous, lovely. You know that. Got a mandolin. Just some of the guitars, most of the, the, the good guitars are in Jums, but coming through here, we have, uh, this is Jums, uh, this is a 1985 uh, Squire Strat, which is just absolutely gorgeous, got the nicest neck on I've ever felt on the guitar, even as a drummer, I know it, it's, it's nice. Uh, Epiphone SG, these are nice, these are the uh, East Coast, in kind of 335 copies. Uh, fairly inexpensive guitar, I think they're only about 300 quad new, but they, they sound fantastic. Uh, what else have we got? We have a uh, classic vibe telly, which is great. It's a lovely guitar. It's bright. Uh, and behind that, we have uh, Tagamine. Jumbo acoustic, and then we've got uh, it's a horrible looking guitar, but it's a great sound guitar. Yamaha Pacifica, fantastic tremolo on it. You can bend that the next week and it'll blow out a tune. So that's some of the guitars. And we have guitars with uh, breed love acoustics, Yamaha acoustics, um, more Takamine acoustics, and next door in Jim's. Bass is just this is kind of the only bass we ever use because it just seems to work on everything. Fender Jazz. Uh, about, that's about, it's a 20, I think. Or 02, sorry. It's, uh, so it's about 20 years old now, but it looks as if it came out of this shop yesterday. It just works on everything, it's great. It's our uh, tuner, guitar tuner. Uh, Quadriver GT guitar effects units, you know, which is fantastic if you want to get weird with your guitar sounds. Mm -hmm. And then our headphone amp on here. So anybody working in the room, we have four outputs here and four outputs over there for our headphones. So like eight people can sit with headphones on if it's late at night or we're mixing or whatever. And that takes us back around here. It's just like loads of cables, bags of cables on there. Few more bits and pieces that we don't really use that much. We've another couple of focus right channel straps and a Behringer uh, stereo EQ, which is actually not bad, but we can only use that for these big uh, speakers, the big monitors. I think these are acoustic research. Uh, I'm not sure, but don't quote me that, but I think they are. Those are, are kind of listening for mastering monitors because they're a bit flatter. Um, than, than the Yamahas, which are our main kind of uh, recording and listening back to monitors. Uh, we've got a Personas monitor station here. So our two sets of speakers are going through this the one time. So you can switch from 
speakers from A to B uh, and listen out of these or those or you can listen to them all together and it's got a great thing on uh, the talk back the drum room is on next door so I can hold this down talk to whoever's on the drum room through the headphones and the drum mics will pick up what they're saying so it's very very good uh, a couple more drum machines at least this is SR60 this is basically for click tracks and the same with the, the Korg um, Electribe well it's a bit more kind of you know, experimentally you can, you can do stuff with that where this is just kind of basic beats got a wee AK um, uh, money MPK money use that for pads for like, hand claps stuff like that we try I probably use hand claps but we try and use hand claps but <laughs> we're feeling lazy we'll use that for stuff like that and uh, our PC is tucked on there and that's basically what we've got on here oh our keyboards we have the Car Trinity Pro uh, some beautiful sounds in that but it's basically a MIDI controller because we've got a couple of nice piano plugins, sound plugins, uh, and Cubase, so we use those. So, uh, mics on here, uh, Santronics. Uh, I just got this recently. I was, I was either this or a Neumann, and a couple of producers that I would follow on online and YouTube and stuff like that, they recommended this, so I just took a chance and I got this. I haven't been disappointed. Lovely vocal mic. Uh, these are great, Lewitt uh, 140 Air mics, a couple of nice uh, pads on it, you can have a nice airy sound or a nice bright sound on it, great for acoustic guitars, I'm going to get some more of those. Uh, uh, Audio Technica 4033A, another great vocal mic, great for instruments as well, um, we have a couple of those knocking around, which are nice, and um, so that's basically this room. And if you'll excuse the mess, uh, we'll go and have a look at the wee drum room. Welcome to the drum room. Uh, it's a bit small as you can see, but the kit fits on nicely. And we've got well soundproofed. There's loads of uh, um, insulation, plasterboard, stuff like that there. It's just a bit that thick. <laughs> uh, the kit is a bit of a mismatch of things at the moment. Uh, M Pro kick and floor. That's a 22B16 and a 16B14 floor tom. Uh, this tom, I have no idea. Uh, could be a, a Gretsch Catalina. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll have to check it out. But it just sounds nice. It matches uh, the rest of the drums. We have more toms kind of tucked away on here. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Tom, more bit of and Uncle Ludwig, and we've got the uh, PDP 10 inch snare drum on there as well. And we've got a couple of snare drums in the other room uh, from Apex and Pear. So, like, kick, snare, uh, let's see, snare drum, Ludwig Superphonic. Always one of the ones classic, like, just works great on everything. We have Remo heads on just the kits. The minute I'm kind of have a strange setup of, of symbols. I bought a kit of a, a, a guy I mean, there just recently and he gifted me this symbol, Zantke. I'd never heard of them before, so I thought I'll take it to the studio and try it out. And it, it sounds fantastic on here, so that's been the kind of go to ride symbol. Uh, they custom hats. A custom uh, splash on top of those with minor and paste and Sabian. I know any drummer of those CD is, is going to be going mad at the minute look at this. Uh, but they just they work for around here. Drum mics, uh, we have AKGs on the toms. We have two 57s on the snare, one slightly pointed towards the middle and one kind of across here and they're both one's going onto the desk and one's going onto some of the preamps out there. Uh, mic on the hi-hats, again Sontronics on the hi-hats. Uh, two SE electronic uh, overheads uh, and we will bring the we'll bring the Audio Technica 
40, 30, um, for a roommate, well, we'll kind of put that down at the door, uh, pick up the whole room. As I say, it's a small room, but with uh, a bit of patience and a bit of time, you can get a half decent drum sound on here. Uh, these are, this is the wee headphone amp. Um, you've got your headphones here, and you put your headphones in, I can talk to you then, you can talk to me through the Personas monitor station. And our kick drum and side, we have Audix D6 and an SE2200 uh, Studio Electronics on the outside as well. We blend those and then you can see with the D drum triggers on the kick and the snare if you want something a bit, a bit stranger on your drum sound. Another um, super lux, cheap mic but it, it, it's effective on the, the ride cymbal. Picks, picks up the high end that very well. So everything is going under the snake down here, which then sped through the hole. <laughs> Everything goes through that, through a pipe and under the, the studio next door. So, a uh, bit messy, but it's, and it's messy for a reason because we're, we're working here kind of constantly. So we don't really have time to, to tidy up. We've got our keyboard hidden on here as well. In the corner because just don't have room for it next door. Uh, a Roland stage piano. So that's our, our drum room. Thanks for looking. Well, cheers, folks, and thanks for watching our, our little video. If you feel that you'd like to come in and record here in Beachwood, get in touch with us through Facebook or all the usual kind of contact platforms, and hopefully, we'll be making music with you soon. Have a great day from Beachwood Recording.